the liturgy of the Eucharist. What is the liturgy of the Eucharist? The liturgy of the sacrament of the Eucharist is the part of the Mass in which we thank God for sending His Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. The word Eucharist comes from Greek, meaning to give thanks. The liturgy of the Eucharist is also known as the Lord's Supper or as Holy Communion. From the Bible, we know that during his last supper with his disciples, Jesus blessed and shared bread and wine with them. He asked them to do this in remembrance of me. Today, we still celebrate the sacrament of the Eucharist as Jesus told us to do. The Eucharist as banquet. The Eucharist is a meal. The people offer bread and wine to God through the priest who takes them to the altar. The priest prays to God the Father that the bread and wine may be blessed or consecrated. In the power of the Holy Spirit, these become the body and blood of Christ. All the people gathered, or the assembly, eat from the bread to share in his body and blood of Christ. Thus we become one family, or the one body of Christ, as he promised us when he told us to celebrate the Eucharist in memory of him. The liturgy of the Eucharist is divided into five important sections. The Offertory, Consecration, the Lord's Prayer, the Sign of Peace, the Communion Rite. The Offertory The Offertory is the time when the bread and wine are brought to the altar to be consecrated by God as the priest prays over them. To consecrate means that God makes the offerings holy, just as he makes the community who shares in the bread and wine holy. During the Offertory, we as the people gathered or assembly also give money to be shared with the poor and the needy. It can also be used for the church's needs, for candles, flowers, etc. Consecration The priest prays to God over the offerings in the name of the people of God gathered. The words used by the priest are called the words of the consecration. They are also called the words of the institution. These are the same words that Jesus used during the Last Supper to bless the bread and the wine. Once the offerings are consecrated through the power of the Holy Spirit, the bread and the wine become the body and blood of Christ. The Lord's Prayer This prayer is also called the Our Father. Jesus taught this prayer to his disciples, who asked him to teach them how to pray. We know this because it is written twice in the Bible. Once by Evangelist Matthew and once by Evangelist Luke. This is how the Lord's Prayer came to be. We pray the Our Father prayer because we are also Jesus' disciples. We know that God is our Father too. And we know that he loves us very much. The sign of peace. The sign of peace is when we shake hands with one another during Mass and say, Peace be with you. Thanks to the sign of peace, we are reminded that we are one community who believe in God, who is the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The sign of peace during Mass reminds us that we are all children of God. We are one family. The Communion Rite The Communion Rite is the part when we participate in the meal by receiving the bread that is the body of Christ that makes us one communion. As we participate in the Eucharist and receive the body of Christ, we become very close to Jesus, who is one with God the Father. As we all receive the body of Christ, God unites us as one communion in the power of the Holy Spirit. 
through the communion rite, we become one family, one people, one church, and one body. How do we participate in the Eucharist? There are some simple steps to remember when we are about to participate in the Eucharist. Learning these steps helps us prepare ourselves to receive Jesus. It also reminds us that we are in God's house and that we must behave well. Let's look at these steps closely. Step 1. When the priest comes forward, so all the people receive the Eucharist, I stand up and go in line together with my family or friends. Step 2. While in line, I need to walk slowly, quietly, and with my hands together in prayer form until it is my turn. Step 3. When it is my turn to participate in the Eucharist, I prepare my hands to receive the bread or host. Step 4. The priest, deacon or Eucharistic minister will say, The body of Christ. To which I reply, Amen. Remember that Amen means that I believe. Step 5. The bread or host is then placed on my hands. Step 6. Then I carefully put the host in my mouth. Step 7. Once I receive the body of Christ in my mouth, I will eat the host politely, keeping my mouth closed, as I remember that this is Jesus who has come into my heart. I walk back slowly to my place. Step 8. I will kneel in the pew to say a prayer of thanksgiving and praise. I thank God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and praise God who always loves me and takes care of me. Step 9. I keep praying quietly in my seat until the priest introduces us to the concluding rite. Summary. What we need to remember. During the Last Supper, Jesus asked us that we celebrate the sacrament of the Eucharist to remember him and what he has done to save us. The Eucharist is celebrated during Mass and it takes the form of a meal or banquet. The offerings of the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus. Thanks to the Eucharist, we become one with God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit and with all the people who celebrate together as one church. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much that you asked us to remember you and to meet you through the liturgy of the Eucharist.